It's time for In the Zone, sponsored by Andrews Heating and Air Conditioning, ISU, Menards, Subway, Terre Haute Savings Bank, and Wabash Valley Sports. Now with the best gridiron show in the Wabash Valley, Rick Semler and Megan McEwen. Good evening. We'll get to In the Zone in our high school football coverage in just a few minutes. But first, another sport takes center stage. This is hard to believe, but the college basketball season is underway for the Indiana State men, with teams now allowed to hit the court six weeks before their first game. The Sycamores took advantage with their first official practice of the 2015-2016 season this afternoon. Greg Lansing's entering his sixth year as the ISU men's basketball head coach. The Sycamores finished third in the MVC one season ago, but for the first time ever under Lansing, ISU posted a losing record at 15 and 16. Coach has the guys he thinks can get him back on track, like senior Christian Smith, who throws it down. After missing last year, Brandon Burnett is back and looks poised for a big senior campaign. A couple newcomers look good in their very first ISU practice and guard Everett Clemens and big man Dre Rickman. The Sycamores say they're ready to put in the work to accomplish some big things this year. You have to be excited. You know, you can't come to in practice thinking that this is a job, thinking that, you know, we're forcing to have practice. Practice is fun because this, this is where you win games. You know, it's a long season, 30 plus games. And uh, this is a um, this is a blueprint on how to win. You know, the coaches prepare us very well every day in practice and before every game to, to win a game. So, you know, it starts right now in preseason to just to get our minds focused to, to get ready for this long grind of the season. When we're conditioning, we're talking about what teams we're playing so we go harder. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of little things and I think everyone they really want to prove people wrong and show them what we can do compared to last year. One guy that looked good at ISU's first practice today was Matt Mansoik. He's the 6'6 transfer from the Citadel. Bad news, though, just over halfway through practice, he went down with a severe right ankle injury. The junior was in tremendous amount of pain and couldn't put any weight on his ankle. Coach Lansing knows injuries are a part of the game, but hates to see it to a guy the Sycamores will be counting on so much this year. Matt went down and went down hard, and, and he's a tough kid. So he, when he's in the pain like that, you really worry for him. Uh, all the teammates worried about him. He's Matt, he's put in a heck of a he had a heck of a year last year, even though he he couldn't play a game for us. Uh, but he's gotten so much better. I don't know how long he'll be out, but it it, it was a pretty significant ankle injury. The IU men's basketball team held their first official practice for this upcoming season this morning, bright and early. Down in Bloomington, the Hoosiers return one of the most talented teams in the country. Many consider them a top 15 team in the nation. Head coach Tom Cree knows titles aren't handed out in the preseason, and his team has work to do if they want to achieve their lofty expectations this year. But, but this team has got to understand what it's going to take for them to take the next step in every area. You know, whether it's our shooting, whether it's our ability to penetrate and see, whether it's our break, whether it's our full court defense, half court defense, certainly the rebounding. So that's where that understanding level of, of how long they've been here needs to jump. Big smile over here. You love to see the basketball season. So stoked for basketball <laughs> season, finally. It, it is coming. We'll wow. have much more on the Sycamores and Hoosiers basketball in the weeks ahead. ISU tips off their season on Friday, November 13th at home against IUPUI. IU opens that same night at home versus Eastern Illinois. Now, I played high school hoops. Megan, you played in college. We both mm -hmm. love the sport, but talking hoops this early really doesn't feel right, does it? Well, no, but you know, I'm all about talking basketball <laughs> no matter what time of year it is. And these next two months actually rock because basketball is just starting mm -hmm. and football season also in full swing. And speaking of the pigskin, we had another good night of action on the high school gridiron. We have highlights from 10 games coming your way. But starting off, North U has torn it up this season. And next week, the Knights have a huge game where they'll play for the WIC West Division title against South Putnam. But before the unbeaten Knights could get ready for the showdown, they had to take care of business tonight versus 1 and 5 Greencastle. The 4A fourth ranked Knights welcome the Tiger Cubs to Brazil. Now according to Max Preps, North Youth senior running back Ben Gurton ranks 29th in the nation in scoring offense, which is very impressive. Here he scores on the Knights opening drive 7-0 Northview. Levi Riggle turns a blocked punt into a touchdown for the Knights. They take a 14-0 lead. Northview really in control of all three phases of the game. Mason Moon sacks the Tiger Cub quarterback. This Northview team truly a force to be reckoned with. Liam Jones decides he wants in on the score in action. Does a great job of finding the gaps and in turn finding the end zone. Knights make it look easy. They beat Greencastle 62-7, improving to 7-0 on the season. 
So Northview took care of business. Could South Putnam stay unbeaten in the WIC? They had a tough game against Sullivan. First quarter, Trey Powell steps back and fires downfield to Evan Connor, a combination we've seen quite a few times this season. 7 0 Golden Arrows. Sticking in the first quarter, teamwork making the dream work on this play. Zane Connor tips it to teammate they just love Connor the bat, the ball right. Down. Oh, don't you love it? Great interception on that for the Golden Arrows. And Sullivan, really, with all of the momentum in this quarter, Powell hands off to Trevor McGill for a touchdown. Big game for McGill tonight, 180 yards on the ground. He's been waiting for that bust out game he had that tonight. Can't argue with that, right? <laughs> Gotta love when that happens. Sullivan takes care of business, taking down South Putnam 42-34. Also in the WIC, West Vigo hosting South Vermillion. A win for the Vikings could clinch a winning regular season for them. Third quarter, a little error here by the Vikes. South Vermillion recovers the fumble, and that's really the only thing that went right for South Vermillion, though. Still in the third, Nick Parker fights his way into the end zone. Vikings lead 34-0. West Vigo getting into the red zone at will tonight. Jordan Easter, the ball carrier, finds his way to the end zone. And West Vigo shuts out South Vermillion 40-0. That does it for our WIC coverage. When we come back, we'll let you know how Terre Haute North and Terre Haute South did in Conference Indiana games. We have rivalry highlights from Washington. And Vincennes Lincoln will stop at North Vermillion when In the Zone returns.